pulled up to Joe's house at a quarter past midnight. The cool night air was staying my lungs. This was the moment I would take my revenge. This was the moment I would take the life of the man who killed me 18 hours ago. It all started when I woke up and saw the syringe laying across from me. Just then, pain shot through my arm. I looked down and saw the wound. What was injected into me? I staggered into the bathroom, reeling from what was put into my system. Who did this? How? Why? My breathing became exaggerated. I was counting down how many breaths I took, not knowing if I was going to run out. An average citizen would have run out their door and drove to the hospital to find a cure. A normal person would have run to their family for one last goodbye. I wasn't exactly normal. I understood that when the type of people I worked for wanted you dead, you were dead. They would find you wherever you decided to hide, even hospitals. I was a dead man. I was just lucky enough to know it beforehand. I only had one thing on my mind. Revenge. The first person I thought of to go to for information was Sam. Sam was the bottom feeder of the family syndicate. She was assigned all the dirty jobs no one else wanted, and she loved to eavesdrop. She would know who the players were. It damn near took half my savings to get the information out of Sam. Not that money mattered to me anymore. She said that I had been poisoned. She told me I could find the man who sold the poison to my killer later that night across town. He meets friends at the same place for dinner every weeknight. You would think a dead man would have more important things to do than wait around for his killer. When you have no family, no one to care for you, no one to know if you're alive or dead, you begin to understand why. My mother died after giving birth to me and my father probably doesn't even know he has a son. I was lost as a child, in and out of foster homes constantly. No one wanted to deal with the delinquent child. I would be sent back to the orphanage for the process to start over again. I eventually ran away from that damn orphanage and joined the family. The family gave me a name, a gun, and a purpose. I waited in my car until I saw him pull into the parking lot and head into the restaurant. He looked at me with surprise when he saw me waiting. He knew who I was. He gave up the name of who bought the poison easy enough. The name of the buyer was harder to swallow. About five years ago, I pulled up to my old partner's house looking for some help. I got into some bad trouble gambling and needed some money to win big to clear my debt. Joe didn't like it. Desperation went out and I pulled a gun on him. He didn't like that either. I knew he had warned Joe that I was coming. I had to kill him. It was the only way to make sure I'd get my revenge. He managed to stab me before I shot him. I staggered out of the car. The knife wound was throbbing with my heartbeat. My energy was sapped from my body. I can't die yet. I can't die yet. 
I have to get to Joe's house. I pulled up to Joe's house at a quarter past midnight. The cool night air was stinging my lungs. My warm, slick blood was running down my side. My hands were beginning to shake. I only had moments left. The door was open. I slowly made my way in, keeping quiet. Joe was already waiting for me in the living room. I had no way of reaching my gun before he could fire. I had to make it to- Sit the fuck down. Why, Joe? Why did you poison me? For ruining my life. What do you mean? I had left you alone since you left the family. The day you came for the money. Joe, I'm sorry I pulled that gun on you. Do you think I would ever let you live after what you did? Nothing can bring back the five years of torment I have endured because of you. Nothing will ever bring back my wife. What are you talking about? I've never even seen your wife. No, but you did shoot her. She was hiding when you came over that day. You fired one round. That one round went straight through her heart. Joe, I never meant to. 